everyone, welcome to my channel. It is so nice to be back after so many months apart. Please be sure to subscribe and watch this video to the very end. You're not gonna wanna miss any details. In this series, I will, I have been sharing my health journey, my weight loss journey, from beginning to end and showing you how long it's going to take. If this is something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends and family. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a post by hitting the bell button. By doing all of these things, it tells YouTube that you like my videos and that my videos are valuable to our community. Remember, my journey is not gonna look like your journey and your journey is not gonna look like my journey. With that said, welcome to another vlog. To anyone who is new here, my name is Emily Cortez. This is my channel, Life with M's. I'm gonna be showing you my weight loss journey from like beginning to end. If you want to know detailed information as to what are my underlying symptoms and my underlying problems, please go to episodes one through three because they are going to explain everything that's happening. This video is going to be a four month update of what's been going on behind the scenes that I have not been able to share with you and to post. This video is might be a little bit lengthy. I'm gonna try to consolidate everything that has happened in four months in a short, like a short amount of time. I'm gonna try to keep it at least under 30 minutes. There is a lot that has happened in the past four months. So watch this video to the very end. I am going to show you all the details of my body. It's going to be dramatic for what's going to occur in these coming weeks. And I plan to record all of it. So if I don't post right away, please be aware that a lot is coming and you're gonna find out why in this video. Okay, if you see me looking down, I have no of what has happened within the last four months, just jogging my memory because I wanted, to, I wanted this video to be clear and concise and to the point. So I apologize in advance because I wanna make sure that I'm telling you everything accurately as I remember. In my last video, I talked about my, and you can see it in episode three, I talked about what happened with my uh, uterus. I had a uterine prolapse, long story short. I went to the women's and babies care for about a week, literally back to back, and then I saw two specialists urogynecologist and he was able to explain to me what's going on my uterus literally has prolapsed thankfully it's not to the degree where it's literally coming out of my body at first it scared me because it did get to be so low that had never happened to me before i've never had children i you know have never had any kind of surgeries before so for me it was very odd that it happened to me and I found out literally the weekend um, that my IUD was placed back in February. When my IUD was placed, I noticed that I could feel the string coming out through my vaginal canal. And that to me was scary because I had never experienced that before. So for me, it was very scary when that happened. But if you want all the full details on that situation, go watch that video so that you can understand a little bit of what I'm talking about in this video. Thankfully, all of it was taken care of. I'm going to, I was referred to pelvic floor therapy. I'm going to explain what's involved in pelvic floor therapy so that you can understand <clears throat> a little bit of what um, I've been going through. In our pubic bones, in our vagina, like the vulva inside or underneath the vulva, we have bones and we have muscles in there that contract and can get tight. Pro uterine prolapses are caused by so many different things I've learned as I've continued to go through this. But one of the main like things that impressed me or shocked me, maybe surprised me, is when I go to pelvic floor therapy, when my therapist touches a pressure point inside my vulva, 
um, the vibration that happens because my muscles down there are so tight and so constricted that it is upsetting to the muscle. To me, it's just like, I feel, I don't, didn't notice that I was sore until she touched me in those areas. And she's doing Kegels with me. I was surprised when, while doing these Kegels, my contra like my ovaries and uterus uh, started getting cramps, kind of like mild contractions, I would say, because it was stronger than cramps as I've experienced. So that's what's been going on. And let me tell you, this has been such a whirlwind experience. I didn't know this could happen to me, not having kids or being as young as I am. So to me, it was different. I didn't know what was going on. Like for me, I was freaking out when I would hear that. As a woman, you know, anything that has to do with your reproductive system is scary, especially when you're a person like me who is trying to conceive in the future to have a baby. Um, with that said, I want to reassure you that this is tailored to me and to my experience. This is my experience, what I'm sharing. So please do not go around telling anyone or your doctors, oh, I saw so-and-so on YouTube and she said this is how therapy is done. No. And so that's like the gist of pelvic floor therapy and what's been going on behind the scenes. So that's a little bit of an update on what's been going on with pelvic floor therapy since my last video was about that. So I didn't film for the last four months, as I said, because I've been going to back-to-back -back appointments, it was overwhelming, and it was hard to film by myself. However, I am truly excited because I am headed into the right direction. So, if you saw my first episode um, and my second episode, you'll know that I have been struggling with my health. I have a lot of underlying issues, anemia, asthma, obesity, PCOS, um, now this uterine prolapse and overactive bladder situation. I was hospitalized twice and given four blood transfusions in those two hospitalizations because of my anemia. I was severely um, anemic to the point of almost dying and I didn't know each time like I didn't think anything of it with that said I decided to take drastic measures into my own hands because I have been trying so hard to lose weight on my own it has not been easy and it has been very hard in the first episode I explained that there's a lot of misconceptions out there about obesity and and about weight loss um, there have been several comedians, celebrities, influencers saying, you know, that it's that fat people, all they have to do is stop eating and close your mouth and just choose not to eat um, bad stuff. And it's not as simple as that. That is the one misconception that pisses me off to the max only because if it was easy as to withhold food and like not eat if it was that easy we would all be skinny there would be no fat people in this world and everyone would look bomb you know what I'm saying so that's unrealistic because reality is if you don't eat you still gain weight you still have other health issues because there's like these other conditions that are created by not eating. So please be kind to fellow fat women and men who have struggled their entire life like me with losing weight and getting their health back because it is not an easy journey and it is not fair to assume that they are just eating uh, junk food. I know that in some cases there are people who are addicted to food and who do overeat, those are serious conditions that if you seek help, you can get the help that you need. 
but with other people there are also underlying conditions that are caused by obesity and it's not just your eating there are different choices and different health issues and generational health issues that cause you to gain weight without you noticing so please be kind and please be empathetic to their situations for the past four months i have literally been doing nothing <laughs> which is why i haven't recorded and let me explain when i say that my nutritional sessions with the dietitian have all been online and i did want to record those because i thought that i was going to be going into the office for that but because it is literally an online class where i would just watch a video where it talked about everything of my bariatric steps that i needed to do and then it would be a questionnaire at the very end it was not interesting to record i was literally sitting there in front of a computer listening to this video taking notes and so um, it was not engaging so there was not a lot of things going on so i didn't want to record that and bore you guys and like because it was monotonous every month the same thing over and over again and i just didn't want to I didn't want you guys to feel like I was doing the same thing. Like, I don't want you guys to be bored with my content. I want to bring you guys information and my experiences, you know, about what's been going on and how I'm doing this. And, and so I wanted my content to be interesting. So I decided not to film while I was doing the nutritional sessions and while I was doing the pelvic floor therapy sessions because I wanted to make sure that everything was going to be exceptional content for you guys. I didn't want you guys to be bored. So to help you understand more what a nutritional session is, it is basically an online appointment that I go through on the computer. I fill out some in questionnaires before the video. I click on this video and then after they, they'll ask me questions about my diet, what I've been doing, um, and exercise regimen, okay? And that's literally it. So it was really not interesting at all. If you're new here, I am going on this bariatric journey and I do explain it all, like I said, in my first episode. So the first three episodes are very important to watch because it talks about my underlying issues and why I chose to do bariatric surgery and why I chose to post it online and share it with you. So I hope that this is content that you love and that you're interested in doing. Um, I am a firm believer that everybody's health journey and weight loss journey is different. So please don't look at my journey like it has to be yours, okay? It was a matter of life and death. Like if I didn't get this, I didn't try to have the surgery, I could have potentially died because it just, it just was not working out. I continued to be anemic and it just wasn't working out and it was not healthy, so. I have really exciting news and it is that I got the call. So once my nutritional sessions, let me back it up for a minute. Once my nutritional sessions are done, um, I speak to my nurse navigator who then informs me that she is going to submit all of my paperwork and reports for from the last six months into my insurance and we just have to wait for my insurance to call and tell us if they approve for me to have the surgery or not thankfully i got the call that oh and before that once she submitted my paperwork into my insurance she told me it was going to take about two months for the appointment or for the insurance to approve my surgery and that my surgeon scheduler was going to call me and let me know, you know, the date and everything. So my surgeon scheduler calls me, told me I'm going to give you a tentative date of August 15th because it usually takes four to six weeks for your insurance to approve your surgery 
And if they take those four, those six weeks, then we would have to change your date and get you a new date. I said, fine, no problem. Let's just, you know, let's get it. Let's get it through. Literally, I hang up with her and two weeks later, I got the call that my insurance approved my surgery and I get to keep August 15th as a date. So we made an appointment with my surgeon on July 22nd, which was this Friday that just passed. I will be having laparoscopic gastric sleeve surgery. And I am very excited about this process and I am very excited to share it with you guys. I'm so stoked that this is happening. This is literally happening in three weeks you guys august 15th is three weeks away i'm gonna get two specific phone calls that i'm still waiting for one when i have to do my covid test pre-surgery and two the time that i have to show up at the hospital for my surgery so i don't know if it's gonna be exactly in the morning or if it's gonna be sometime in the afternoon i just know that i have to be prepared so I'm really excited to share that with you guys and show you everything that comes with that. So that is the update of what has been going on for the past four months. I am super excited about everything. I'm gonna show you some before pictures. I'm gonna show you live in a few minutes. I'm gonna show you myself live. But most importantly, I am super excited that I'm getting this surgery and it's happening in three weeks. You know, I just, I'm so thankful that everything has happened the way it did. Unfortunately, my situation, you know, to the point of almost dying, it was very scary, but you know, I know that God is in control and the surgery is gonna help me get back to normal surgery is not uh for the faint of heart like you really have to be strong you have to make sure your mental health is there and sharp and steady it doesn't mean that you're not going to like feel sad at some point or maybe get feel down at some point it's major surgery you guys so i'm not telling you you have to be wonder woman that's not what i'm saying you have to make sure that you at least do your due diligence if you are gonna get these kinds of surgeries because it is important for you to be mentally stable and emotionally and physically, okay? The physical part is gonna come, but you need to be emotionally and mentally prepared for anything. And I am a firm believer in praying so I have been praying. I am a firm believer in prayer and I believe that God is in control and God is on my side. I believe in God and I believe that he will be with me during the surgery and he will be with me after the surgery because he has carried me through all the way up to now. So that is my update. I am so excited to show you guys some before pictures. So take a look. Right, guys this is a different location i'm in my backyard because there's better light out here and that way i can show you guys what i look like in real time so this is me in a sports bra and shorts i'm being super vulnerable with you guys i hope you guys can appreciate that this is my side profile side profile and the back I wanted to show you my body in real time because I personally have not found any videos. Like when before I started this journey, I was looking for weight loss journey videos as well. And I was looking specifically for body types. I wanted to see if I can find a woman who looked like me, who had my same 
body flaws and body style. I did not find, ooh, I did not find anyone to look like me. I have not found anyone to have the same body type like me and it's, I wanted to do this. This is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to be vulnerable and show you guys my body, show you guys my weight, show you guys my before. Hopefully this comes across as empowering and as strong and hopefully even encouraging. I, please be kind. If there's someone out there that does not like to see this body type, then my channel is not the channel for you. Please keep scrolling, please keep moving because I only have the space and the ability to allow women and men who are positive thinkers and encouragers and full of love for others in my channel. I don't have time to deal with people who, people who hate themselves enough to criticize other people. I just don't have that kind of space in my in my channel or in my life so if you are the type of person that this disgusts you and you're like oh my god what is she doing you can respectfully go f yourself okay to clarify again i will you will continue to hear this in all of my videos this is my journey this is my life this is my experience so please don't go thinking that this is the norm or that this is what you need to do or how you need to do it. Please don't go thinking that. This is absolutely not. This is me and um, this is who I am. And I, I hope that you follow along in my journey and that you enjoy everything that you see and hear and that you can be part of my tribe and please remember that this is my health experience, my health journey to weight loss, to health, and to happiness. I am doing this because my bottom line and ultimate goal in life is to be a mother, is to carry a baby in, in a healthy pregnancy and not have to worry about pre-existing conditions that can cause me to lose my baby and to cause me to have an unhealthy pregnancy or even potentially lose my own life during uh, labor and delivery, okay? I want to remind you all that it is okay not to feel confident. It is important, however, to heal yourself to find stability, to find positivity in your life, and to take out anything negative that hinders you or that stops you from being your best self, okay? Don't forget that as a person, you are allowed to have boundaries. You are allowed to tell people when is the right time to just not be in your life. It is very hard to say goodbye to certain toxic people because we love them. Like if it's someone who you genuinely love, it's hard to say goodbye because you did not expect it, you know, to end up there. But at the long run, it's important to say goodbye. And it's important to love yourself and remind yourself that you are worth stability that you are worth happiness and you are just 100% worth all of it, okay? So please, please do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt your motives. Um, if you are doing it to protect yourself, your peace, your love, your sanity, your mind, then by all means, take out whatever negativity is hindering your life and stopping you from being your best possible self okay remember that to be healthy and to lose weight it is not as simple as not eating you have to make the right choices for you for your body type i suggest you do some research and figure out with your doctor and those around you 
what kind of body type you have, make sure you consider the generational diseases or setbacks that you might have. So for example, my family has heart disease, like it runs in my family and high blood pressure. Thankfully, I don't have any of those, but I know that in the future, I could potentially get them. Diabetes also runs in my family. I don't have diabetes, but again, I could potentially, if I would have continued to gain weight, and if I had not taken care of myself, I could have potentially gotten diabetes, high blood pressure, I could have had a heart attack. So for me, it is not as easy as just being healthy and trying to lose weight. I have underlying conditions, pre-existing conditions that didn't allow me to lose the weight like I originally wanted to, okay? So please don't be hard on yourself and remember that the first one who needs to love you is you, nobody else. Until you find love for yourself, then you will find love in the world, whether that is a husband, whether that's a wife, whether that's a partner, a significant other, whether it's in your family. You know, sometimes we feel like we are the black sheep of the family, but it's because we have not loved ourselves enough to allow other people to love us the way we deserve to be loved. Okay, so please remember that. I want to remind you, sorry, my notebook is, is down here because I'm downstairs now, so it's not in front of me. I want to remind you not to give up. I haven't given up. I have been going at this since 2017 and this is not my first time trying to do the bariatric surgery. This is actually my third time and you know, third time's the charm as they say. And I'm actually getting it done. I'm super duper excited that I am going through this, that I'm getting my surgery, that it's something that I have been wanting for anyone close to me and um, in my circle, anyone that's spoken to me knows that this has been a deepest um, desire and I'm excited that it's finally time for it to happen. I cannot believe it's happening in three weeks. This to me is crazy. It's super bizarre and I am in awe of it. I am just in awe of how everything has happened how everything has just been really fast. After my nutritional sessions, which are six sessions that happen, you know, from submitting the paperwork to my insurance accepting it, getting my date, everything has been boom, 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 boom. And now in three weeks, I am going to get my surgery and I'm just, so ecstatic and so excited that it's happening i can't deal so if i didn't quit you guys you can't quit all right you cannot quit don't quit know that i am here for you you can message me on instagram you can message me on facebook or messenger like you guys i'm so here for you if you need words of encouragement if you need prayer if you need advice you guys like i'm so here for you i am I'll, I'll be your number one cheerleader if you don't have anyone to support you in your life in whatever journey it could be it, your journey is probably not even weight loss your journey is probably something else maybe it's um mental health maybe you're trying to get your mental health back or your sanity back or trying to feel stable in some kind of way it doesn't matter what you're going through just know that i am here that you're not alone that you can message me you can dm me and if i don't get back to you right away i promise i will read your message and i will get back to you just be patient with me do not discard me okay you guys because i don't get everybody's messages now everything is like uh so separated okay so you can message me i will i will respond to you okay so this is everything that i've wanted to share i am so happy you know don't forget that everyone's journey is different my journey is not the same like your journey and your journey is not the same like mine and definitely you know it takes time to heal 
your 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 mental stability it takes time to heal your emotional health and stability and it takes time to heal your physical but your physical is not gonna heal unless you are emotionally stable mentally stable and ready to accept your physical stability and health okay you guys comment below if you liked this video, if you think this was something that you want to watch, if you think I'm crazy for showing my body the way I did in this video, just comment. I want to hear it all, believe it or not. I'm not here for the rude, disgusting, degrading comments, but if you think I'm crazy because you're scared and you believe this is something you would never do then comment below because i want to i want to hear that i want to see that because it was very vulnerable i've never everyone that knows me knows that i take headshots i've never ever in my life taken before full body shots as i have now when i started this journey this journey and i have several before pictures only because I have been wanting to document. I've always felt insecure about my body, but I've never felt uncomfortable to the point of not taking pictures. In recent years, I have not wanted to take full body pictures because it has been really a, a downward spiral for me. But I can honestly say that I am in a place where I'm comfortable showing you my body and showing you my transformation so I'm really excited for all of this and I'm really excited to be going through this journey with the major support that I have. Stick around if you like this kind of content and you're interested to see my journey, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. I know it was pretty lengthy, but it was a lot of information, a lot of things that I wanted to share with you and show you. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell while you're at it because that will notify you when my next video is up. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video with all your friends and family members or anyone you know who might be interested in this kind of content. It is very important that you do all of these things because it builds my YouTube algorithm for my videos and it will suggest my videos to more people who like the same kind of content. That way we can grow our community and learn and grow together. And I just want to build my tribe, you guys. Let's let's get a lot of women in here and let's empower each other and make each other feel super strong and super stable. Okay? So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see like daily updates or want to know what I'm doing, check out my Instagram at Life with M's C and follow me on my Life with M's page on Facebook. You will see content on there as well. Sometimes I don't post the same thing that I post on my Instagram on there. Sometimes I do but I like to keep it open. Sometimes I do lives on that page too. So sometimes I like to leave it open to communicate and mingle with all of my followers on there. Thank you guys for watching. This is scary for me, but I am super excited uh, to continue this journey and to continue to tell my story and I just hope that whoever watches this finds my story inspiring and they find it interesting. I want to point out that surgery is not the easy way out. It's actually harder to get surgery and it's harder to deal with surgery than to try to lose weight on your own. Obviously I have been trying to lose weight on my own since 2017 and I have been blessed to be able to do this now because like I said I have underlying issues that did not allow me to lose weight the way I properly needed to and wanted to so please don't feel like you have to do surgery you don't there are other ways of doing it you know like I said earlier do the right thing for you make right choices eat healthy work out get moving you don't need a strenuous workout 
program to lose weight. You just need to move your body, whether that's walking, whether that's running, whether that's riding your bike or your skateboard or rollerblades, whatever you have in your house counts as exercise, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Please comment below. I really, really, really want to hear from you guys. And welcome to all the new subscribers as well. Thank you guys for joining. I'm so happy to have you part of my tribe. Share my channel and my videos with people that you know and love that would enjoy this kind of content. There's definitely more content coming. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing night and a good rest of your week. Bye.